Let's work a few problems from page 528 of Tan's book. That's hyperbolic functions. Uh, I'd like to work problem 30. That asks you to find the derivative of the function f of x equals cinch, or hyperbolic sine, of 2x times cosh, or hyperbolic cosine, of 4x. And then let's work this problem too. 45 says y equals the square root of cosh inverse of 2x. So let's get started. There we go. Okay, so uh, remember, first off, we have to consider what this is. This is the product of two functions, so I'm going to use the product rule. The derivative of the product is derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. Interesting thing about cinch and cosh is the derivative of cinch is cosh. The derivative of cosh is cinch. So take the derivative of this, cosh 2x. Now uh, we're going to actually use the chain rule in this piece. The derivative of cinch u is cosh u, but then I have to multiply by the derivative of the inside, 2 cosh 4x plus I'm going to write the first piece unchanged. Derivative of the second piece, that piece comes out cinch u, which is 4x, times the derivative of the inside, derivative of 4x being 4. You could write the 4 anywhere, usually we write it in front. So that's the end of the first one. Uh, looking at this problem, now notice here I have a function inside a function, inside a function, so I'm going to use the chain rule there. I'm really thinking about this as being cosh inverse of 2x inside a power function to the 1 half. So using the chain rule here, I guess I have y prime equals 1 half, then I've got my inside piece to the negative 1 half. That could you could think of that as 1 over the square root of cosh inverse of 2x. Now I get to take the derivative of that inside piece. Well, the derivative of cosh inverse, uh, you may or may not know, uh, but if you look it up in some reference table, you can just sort of spot it. Uh, here it is on page 582 of Tan's book. The derivative of cosh inverse is 1 over the square root of u squared minus 1. So what we'll do is we'll write that here, 1 over the square root of our u here being 2x, so 2x squared minus 1. Now we've got to use the chain rule one more time times the derivative of u, which is just 2. Okay. Now that simplifies a bit. Notice that 2 and 1 half cancel. I'm going to go ahead and write this as a square root in the denominator, so I get 1 over the square root of cosh inverse 2x times the square root of 4x squared minus 1. There you have it.